Hey, it's Dr. Amanda with Street Smile Solutions, streetsmilesolutions.com. And today we're going to be talking about different types of power chain, continuous, closed, open, short. What's going on in this stock photo that I've got right here? So I just wanted to show you that I don't think you need to have all those different types of power chain. I normally just only stock the continuous or the closed. I think those are synonymous. They're the same thing. Um, those are the ones where the links are right up one, uh, next to one another. You can see here when you put it on, you just put it on by feel. If you have a big tooth um, and or you have extra space, you can just leave extra links. So see here how there's one link, two link, then they st stretched it over the little tooth. Two links, okay, two links. So if you use continuous or closed chain, you don't have to buy also short and open chain because you can just leave extra links. And actually it looks pretty cool. And there's all different ways you can twist and do cool decorations and things like that. And that's gonna save you a lot of money in your practice. It's basically gonna save you like two thirds of purchases. You actually need to throw your power chain out every year or two years. You should be checking it. Um, a new one, when you get a like a one inch piece and you stretch it and then you let it rebound, it should rebound to the exact same size that you had. And you can actually do that test to check. An older power chain, and it's gonna depend on the humidity in your practice, the temperature, things like that. Um, you know, how exposed it is to air uh, and light. It's gonna degrade that rubber or that, um, that material, the elastomeric material, just like any type of you know, even an old rubber band, if you have one, it's like, it's junk, right? It snaps, it doesn't work. So hair rubber bands in time, everything degrades, right? So that is why you need to check your power chain. So I normally purge power chain every year or two, but we'll do a check just to make sure. And if you're starting to see that your um, spaces aren't closing, you should really think about the source. It's only a $5 spool of power chain. Just fling it out and get a new one, which is part of the reason that I believe that you should just have um, one type and it makes things a lot easier so you don't have to throw money out the window when you have to replace it. All right, hopefully this was helpful. Thank you.